I'm not a welder but compared to other helmets I've used, this helmet is easy to use and is very clear with good color perception, also, batteries are replaceable, without using a soldering iron. This is the first professional, grade hood that I have owned in my short time as a welder, after using it for the last month or so I have to say that I am deeply impressed with both the comfort and rays of use. I purchased this helmet at the same time as my first TIG welder and it has allowed to learn so much more quickly and with less frustration than any other hood I have used. The X mode offered on this hood is a great feature and one that I use daily, I have never been flashed wearing this helmet and when in X mode, it never darkens unless there is an arc present. Struggled with the choice over this or the Lincoln 3350, I had welded with a 3350 and like it a lot, after reading and trying the Miller Digital Elite I decided to go with this. I have been very pleased with the build quality and functionality, I live in Canada and I was able to get the Miller Digital Elite from Amazon, com cheaper than I could the Lincoln 3352, that sealed it. The screen is big enough, before this I had a Lincoln Viking which has the biggest screen available, I don't notice a difference at all, I don't like the loud click this helmet makes when you flip it down to strike your arc. However I may not have them installed correctly either law. I chose this one for the four arc sensors, I got tired of getting flashed occasionally, not a single time with this hood after roughly 300 hours shield down, tons of settings, and grinding settings you can actually grind with. I have never written a review before but thought this was worth the effort, I've always used cheap harbor freight hoods but decided to get this one. I use magnifying lenses and this hood is designed to accept the lens so no more duct tape holding them in place, I have never had a clearer field of view and am amazed at how much blind welding I've done in the past. This one is a little heavier than what I was used to, but that's just because it is built so much better, love this hood. If you weld and more than just tacking some stuff for your friend in the garage for his hoopty project you will love this hood, sure Harbor Freight has some cheap options but is your long term eyesight something you want to save a few bucks on? Tons of adjustment to get it to fit just right, loads of settings for all the different things you'll encounter while working with metal, and the satisfaction of knowing you can go into any welding supply store for replacement parts, oh yeah and it's got replacement pieces not just one and done Jew. But if hammering dog shish tea is your game go ahead and settle for a $50 hood, otherwise spend your money wisely and roll with the best. The headgear takes a little getting used to but works well when adjusted properly, I have welded and fabricated in the field for over 35 years and this is my best helmet yet. It works laying down, sideways, and upside down, I love the grind, torch modes, it gets old having to constantly switch helmets, grinding, torching gear. A few times I was caught in the wrong mode, because I am used to an auto darkening helmet, but I am getting used to it. This is an outstanding Miller welding hood, I have used many different fixed lens welding hoods as well as one other auto darkening hood. Click link in description for more reviews, please click the link below for more information, please subscribe to my channel for more great products, please use my affiliate links to support my channel.